Welcome to another video in our series of Learning by Doing. In this video, we're going to build LitHapt, an ebook library mobile application using Flutter and Dart. LitHapt consists of three screens. Let's go through each screen and its features. Home screen This screen has three sections Lost Open Book. Display the Lost Open Book that the user opened. Clicking on the books, open the reading page with the option for full reading mode. Moving forward and backward and display the current and total pages numbers. Keep reading, show the books that the user is currently reading. Similar to last open book section, it's provide option for reading. Books purchased but not started. Display the books that the user has purchased but not started yet. Clicking on the books will open reading page. Marketplace is screen for buying a book and including the following features. Filtering and searching. User can filter and search for books. By specific names. Suggested books, showing the trend popular discount books. Book details, clicking on a book will open a view with the details such as title, description, author name, page numbers, rating, ASPN, code, price or free, a button to produce to the payment portal. It's also displayed the total XP will be gained after completing the book. Profile screen, this screen display the user profile information including username and a bio, show the username and a bio section. Total XP display the total XP gained so far. Books read and total cost show the numbers of the books that the user has read and total cost. Keep reading section display the books that the user is currently reading. The GitHub repository link for a complete project in the video description. If you have any project ideas you would like to build, let me know in the comments section below. Ok, let's build the source code from scratch, starting by creating a project by running Flutter Run followed by the project name. First step is to claim my widget app and move it out from main file into own widget. Next add assist files such as loader, example, pdf, book and a logo. Install a necessary package for the project including google fonts, barcode generator, pdf reader and a flutter launcher icon. Don't forget to add the assist path file to the public.specs.yaml. In my app widget, we will show loader initially and then simple text. We will use the Google Fonts to build our custom theme in a separate file under the themes folders. Replace the default Flutter icon with a new one using the following command in the terminal. Next, create the following screen folders and file. Each screen will have a bar with the title of the screen and the body will consist of the simple text widget. The screen's wrapper widget will be a scaffold widget with a predefined initial screen index and bottom navigation to switch between the different screens. Go back to my app widget and replace text widget with the screens wrapper to show the new screen widgets. Let's create some fake API data and book model. This model will have a property such as title, category, using enums, ASP number, price, description, rating, year of release, number of pages, author name, image URL, total XP, and more. In the same file, we will also have the functions to get a category as a string based on the type from category enum. The fake data will be a list. We will also provide a few functions to retrieve books by type, check if it's free, get the last open page. We will also have a set of common widgets that will be used throughout the app. Let's create each one individually. Starting with the barcode build widget, which accept ASPN number as argument and leverage barcode widget that has been installed early. To create a 3D book cover effect, we will use transform widget with the some values that work well alongside with the image widget. The book details widget will display the category book title and a button to open a barcode image depending on ASPN and the author name and description. Next we have the details box widget which consists of column of two text widget to display the rating year of release, number of book pages, and total XP worth it after completion. The buy book wrapper will be a clickable widget that display the cover and the cost of the book. The buying book view will be a container that includes a book bio, details box, 3D book cover, cost, and option to buy the book. For now, let's make it a button to open the book since we haven't implemented any payment service. The keep reading section widget which will be displayed in the home and profile screens consists of column of keep reading text and inner widget that grabs random book from a fake API. Last open book widget similar to previous widget will display the text and pick at least one open book. But now let's pick something randomly. 
clicking on any book will call reading book widget with the option for full screen mode next and back buttons to navigate between the pages the current page number and the total of the number of pages let's start using these widgets for a home screen by creating all purchased books section which consists of a column with the text and view book button finally finalize the home screen by calling last open book keep reading and all purchased book containers Moving on to the marketplace, create two folders, filters and suggestions. In the filters folder, create a row that displays a list of book categories horizontally. Then create a search bar as a simple text field that accepts user input. In the suggestion folder, create three widgets for discount popular trending books. It will be created in the same way with a column of text and random book list. Update the marketplace screen one more time with the new widget that been created, search bar, filtering, trends, discount, and popular widgets. The last part of the app screens is the profile screen, which consists of the following sub widgets. By a section, a column of interested category and description. Level of progress indicate the user level of progress by counting the total XP and the next target, which comes from books XP. Statistics display the user information such as age, number of the books, purchase, and total cost. Finalize the profile screen by calling all the sub widget by section, level progress, statistics, keep reading books. That was everything in this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you found this video helpful. Let me know in the comment section if you would like to see more content like this.